we are at the end of the I row with block I13, and this is an EPP modified block. So I'm going to get my book out, and this is how it's been modified. So I'm going to refer to this when I'm assembling my block. And so I have my pieces laid out, and as my diagram indicates, I will be in I will be assembling these. And I'm going to treat these like a block. These squares are appliqued on, so I've got those down here for when I assemble everything. So I will do that probably last. So I will put these three pieces together. This is a big triangle, and this is the smaller size triangle. And put these four squares together, and then join this row. And this will be a tiny row this way and this will be a row, and then I will assemble them, just like other blocks. For basting, I will most likely baste one, two, and then do this last so it goes away from the middle. I will baste the ends of these first, and then do the long sides. And for these, I will most likely do this first and then the sides so that the tags go away from the middle. Squares, I do opposite sides and then opposite sides. So that'll get me started. So let me get going on one of these squares. And again, I will do these after I've done assembling the block. So I've got one of my squares completely assembled. And... It has the smaller triangle with this focus fabric stripe and the larger triangle, and then the applique square will go here. So the one thing I did notice that I would send a, I wouldn't say a red flag, but just be aware of is when you go to baste these angles, which are this side of this angle. Whenever you have a corner that's less than 90 degrees, because this is more than, this is, you know, 90 degrees. Whenever you have a corner like this, it's real touchy to get that point exactly where you want it. So be confident when you're basting your triangle. And I had to center my triangle to make sure that the fabric from this one came to the corner of this one. Because whenever I fold a, a fabric corner that's less than 90 degrees, it just doesn't give me a sharp point like the rest of them. So other than that, that was the only tricky bit. And so I'm gonna continue to make my blocks. So I've got my bottom row completely together. And now I'm gonna put these three pieces they're all nice and basted and tiny. And then I'll do the same up here that I did down here. So I've got both of the bottom and the middle connected. And I've got my top row ready to go. And I just got to assemble these and then attach that to this. Now my top row is done. And I will complete the block with that with this one more seam completion. And then I can worry about my squares. Now I have my base block all completed. Now it's just a matter of basting my squares. I do opposing sides and then opposing sides. What I'm gonna need to do though is draw a line from my square point from this point to this point so that I can line this up. That'll give me the midpoint of this line and where to put these points at all at the same time. So I really don't even need to draw it. I just need to draw it from, you know, not quite from here to the middle of this. So that way I have less to worry about erasing or something. So, so I'm gonna base these and then I'm gonna find the midpoint of this by taking a ruler and lining it up from point to point here. 
and then I'm going to use my stapler and staple them down so I can applique them. So I've got my block prepped for applique. I took my ruler and lined it up between this outer point and this inner point and I drew a line right here. And so I've taken my piece that's basted and I have them all in the same bit of fabric so what I'm doing is I'm making this little part of that fabric be towards the middle just because that way I know it's either it's consistently radiating. So then I'm going to line up this point on the line of this fabric and then the other one I'm going to put on the line up top here and then I'm going to staple it and I've done that here and I've done that here. The shadow's throwing it off. And on this one I've already done the applique. So then I'm gonna just, I took my staple out and then I'm gonna erase it. And the reason I use the staples is because it holds it in two points so it can rotate a little bit but it's minimized. So I, that just gives me an easy way to put it together and keep it together while I do my applique. So I'll finish up my applique and then I'll be done. Now I've finished my applique on my block and I have a completed I-13 square.